I uh, tell you that we we were not ready to play that game, I'm sure you will believe me. Um, defense and offense, uh, 20 turnover. Uh, we we gave the tempo to Aust. They run how they want to run. They play that isolation and they attack one on one all the time. We're not able to control that one on one, but that's all. That's all. After sure, we yes, maybe we can start to to say yes. We miss Bugay. We miss Brad uh, uh, Wright. That's true. That for us, it's two players really important because you know when we shoot like we should today, we have to find other solution. And the other solution is give the ball inside. And the two players that can score maybe inside is Brent Wright and uh, Christophe Beguet. And especially order to put maybe a little team of Alst a little in trouble on foul because I think we should two free throws in uh, 40 minutes. And maybe it's, uh, I think it's, it's not enough. That's all. I don't try to find skews. I insist. The only maybe we stay again, uh, I think 11 or 12 days without play. Uh, maybe we focus now to that playoff, okay, first place, uh, uh, that injuries, all the things. And uh, But I don't have skews and I don't want to find skews. But that's true that it was not big reaction in execution. Now we want the rebound today. Uh, that's the, the, the only positive? Oh, it's not positive. That. It's not positive. That. The whole team with two new players? No. 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 We have to. We hope that uh, Brent Wright and, and Christophe Beguet, it's no big problem. I hope it was just for you know to don't don't take risk. And after you have to know that I think maybe the, the only positive point, except the the last situation, uh, it's uh, Dwayne Browns, and that uh, will will build the collective with that. After what Weaver will bring after that will be a plus or not for the team. Practice tomorrow at 10:45. The game on Monday is very important. So. <coughs> it's important, like maybe the game Wednesday game or Saturday game or next Wednesday. Uh, we have five more games and uh, we have to win two to to be to that pole position. Well, obviously, a very important win for us. I thought, uh, as the coach said, it's actually seems kind of familiar to me. In the past, the teams we've had in Alst were very similar, not necessarily the way they, the game was played, but the makeup of the team of Shalawa when they had their two big guys out, because that's what we used to play with five guys that played outside. You know, we've done that for three last three seasons <coughs> up until now when we got Chris Young. And uh, if you're not shooting the ball well, it's very difficult becomes very difficult and I thought we played very good defense we could go out and really challenge them and we didn't have to help inside because they didn't have an inside threat so it made our defensive I thought we played very good defense but it made it easier for us tactically and I thought the guys rose to that occasion because the players they are guarding are very high quality players it's just they missed some inside <coughs> strength I think the other thing is their timing was off coach knows more than I do it's his team but it seemed with you know Broyles coming back after being out for so long, Weaver a new player, and uh, Musolik coming in. Uh, you know, you basically had three guys that hadn't been with the team for a while. So I think all those things worked to our advantage. But I definitely think we, we were the better team, and we showed that. And I was very happy with our consistency over 40 minutes. So, you know, it's, there's a, there were some dips, but they were very, very short dips. We didn't really come down and and really play sloppy for long periods of time. We stayed within what we can do, and we stayed aggressive on defense. So uh, I was happy, and that's our mentality. That's what we have to have now the rest of the way out. And uh, 
as you know, as we both know up here as coaches, you can lose to any team in this league at any time. So you have to be prepared every game to play. And now we have been for three games. We lost one of them, but the last three, and uh, we've got better each game. And now we have to continue. Normal reaction after a game like this is that you have a bad game going to the road against Leuven now that we play on Wednesday, and we have to show that we're stronger than that. <clears throat> Mentally, we can can put this behind us, you know, learn from it, and be encouraged by it, but not not get complacent because of it. So it's another challenge on Wednesday. We're still fighting for the second position. We're going to continue to do that. I do not believe that Shalawa is only going to win two of their last five games. And actually, if they only win two, I hope one of them's Mo's. For one, I didn't know, I knew, of course, I know Massaud, but I didn't know anything about Weaver. I didn't know how healthy um, Broyles was, and I didn't know how unhealthy the other two big guys were. So all those were surprises for me. But they sure did look much, tactically, they were much easier to deal with when you take away the beef under the basket. It's, you know, listen, we, like I said, we played like that for many years. Uh, so I know the problems that it can cause both ways. If you're playing very well, it's very difficult to play with a team with a lot of quickness and, and uh, shooters, but if it's not functioning, there isn't really another option to go to, and I think that, that's what they found themselves into today. But uh, for us, it's, uh, you know, every game for us, we feel like we're in the playoffs right now, and we're approaching each game that way, and we'll do the same thing in Leuven. I'm, I think they're in the same mindset as we are because they're trying to get that sixth position, so I expect a very intense game on Wednesday also.